Hello guys, this is Redstone Without Limits here for my first video. Uh, today we're going to be doing the very basics of Redstone. So for those of you who don't know that much, I'm going to try to explain it. Show you the little tips and tricks that you can use to make your Redstone contraptions. So, first thing we need to learn is what Redstone can travel through. So, redstone can travel through blocks, either this way, or this way. So these will both work correctly, except if you're going to put it in with redstone, then you have to have a repeater on the outside. That is how that works. Um, if you want to turn the signal into, if you want to turn it inverted, say, uh, you know, if you want the signal to, yes, basically just be inverted, then you can simply put a redstone torch on one side of the block that it's traveling through. That is one way to invert it. Um, there's a few other ways, but I'm not going to get into those in this video. Um, now, pistons are another story. You can put in inputs, like so, or you can do a redstone input. It can work like that, but they also have a little quirk um, known as budding. Now, as you know, um, this could not possibly be powered because it is diagonal from the lever. But if we update it, then it can be powered. It's a little strange thing with pistons. Don't know why they do that. But if we uh, turn off the lever, then it stops. These are some uh, very simple things that you can do. Now let's let's get on to the gates, okay? So gates um, take two inputs and get an output. I'm going to show you probably one of the most useful gates is the AND gate. This can be made from placing two torches on top of a 3 by 2 block or three by one, and then placing a torch here, and that would be your output. Now, since this is called an AND, it only works if both the first input and the second input are on, uh, thus the AND. So the way this works is once you have these two powering each one of these, then it turns off the signal, thus giving you an output. Uh, there's a few different ways to make AND gates. I won't get into them in this video, but I'm going to move on to something different. Um, we're going to do the NOT gate. Uh, I showed you over there, or um, what this would be called is a NOR gate, because there's two inputs. Basically, if any of the inputs are on, uh, the invert or the um, input is off. See, that's uh, fairly simple. Now uh, l let's get to. Okay, uh, let me just fix my. This is gonna drive me nuts. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Um, so that will be it for this video. If you want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe, and I will be putting plenty more of this stuff on my channel. Um, so I will see you in the next video. Bye.